I don't know what got into me. I don't know what. I don't know. I think it was just I was scared. And I honestly was really scared to be like 100% honest. I was so nervous. I was so scared. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Shy, and today we are here with a video. I know it's been a minute. If you are new here, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like as well. Make sure you comment. Let me know. Leave me some love below. Say hello. Don't be a stranger. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video because I know it's long overdue. And I let's go let's go so as a lot of y'all know or if you've watched my channel before i recently just had a baby um he will be two months coming up it has been a while since i've actually posted a video all of that almost about two months where this particular story is all about my labor and delivery y'all like when i tell y'all it was a, a, a scene it was a scene okay like i cannot make this up okay so it was my baby was born on October 16th, 2021. So he is a Libra and the Friday before he was born, I um I had the mindset of, okay, I want to have this baby this weekend. I, I had a game plan, y'all. I want to have the baby over the weekend. I want to be able to get out of the hospital by Sunday, be back home from Monday, you know, have everything good and going and planned. I, I had a plan, y'all. And my due date was Halloween, by the way. But, you know, those of y'all that know when you're pregnant, you get tired towards those last couple weeks. And yeah, I was ready. I was done. So it was Friday morning. I was looking up ways to like self-induce. And if you're frowning upon that, um, to each his own no judgment passed basically online just like on google and things like that ways to self-induce labor and i had out of my day i ate some pineapple for breakfast because they say that like raw pineapple whatever whatever so i bought a pineapple i cut it up ate that for breakfast i went walking on um breaks like throughout the day i was on the ball i was having relations or like you know you know doing stuff that they say is supposed to induce labor you know i was trying to induce okay that was all throughout the day i started this early because my kids went to daycare the boys went to school i had a plan so my boyfriend he was obviously home and he's like i'm like babe call your mom and see or your sister and see if the baby if logan can stay and if those of you that don't know my daughter she's she will be two in a couple weeks um her name is logan and I'm like, can you call your mom and see if Logan can stay over the weekend? Um, because we are going to have this baby. Like, I was so determined, you guys. So he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. So I was having slight contractions, but nothing too major. So one of my friends had wrote me on Snapchat. And she was like, hey, girl, like, you can pump. And that's kind of like nipple stimulation. And that'll help, you know, bring on contractions and bring that baby out. So I'm like, oh, okay. I've never tried that or never heard of that before. But I'm like, okay. So I was trying that as well, just on and off throughout the day. I was having slight contractions. So I called my mom and I'm like, hey, just a little bit, you know. It was probably like the afternoon. So me and Babe went on a walk again around our neighborhood. And then by the time my mom got off work, she calls me. She got off around like five o'clock in the evening. So she called me and she's like, hey, what's going on? So I'm like, well, do you want to come over? And babe's going to go take Logan to his mom's. And then me and you can go walking. And she's like, yeah, because I know if y'all know my mom, y'all know my mom. But if those of you that don't, my mom will, when it's time to have a baby, she going to help, okay? <laughs> when you're walking to walk a baby out, you need to be walking, like power walking. So she definitely will do so. So we walked around the neighborhood, probably like we, we walked around about 30, 45 minutes, then came back and I sat back on the ball. Babe had got back and he's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah. And my mom's like, you having contractions? I'm like, yes, yeah, the same stuff, you know, nothing too crazy. And she's like, okay. So I had... Um, I was just bouncing on the ball. Babe made dinner. We were eating. My mom was still here. So about like 9.30, she's like, hey, 
I'm about to go home. I'm tired. Nothing's happening. You keep telling me you're okay. You're just slight contractions, like whatever. She was like, so if anything happens, just call me. I'm tired. I'm like, okay, that's cool. She doesn't live too far from me. I'm like, all right. Because I wanted my mom and my boyfriend in the room with me when I delivered. So like, just call me, let me know, whatever. I'm like, okay. So I got my bag ready for the hospital. Y'all, I don't know what, I literally was like trying to just speak this into existence. I got my bag ready. I put it in the car and everything was like good to go. So I'm like all discouraged. Cause I'm like, dang, I had this plan. It's not going like whatever. So take a shower, babe takes a shower, everything, whatever. We get in bed and I'm like, okay, mind you, it's around like 10 30. So at like 11, 15 ish, I wake up and I'm like, what the heck? Like I, I literally like had to go to the bathroom. See I'm sorry, <laughs> but I was having like diarrhea basically. Sorry if that's TMI. And I was, it was like back to back. So my stomach was hurting. So I'm like, okay, well maybe, cause again, I've never experienced this before. So I'm like, well maybe it's just because, I don't know, maybe I did too much, like something's going on. I don't know. So I walking around the house, trying to like get comfortable, trying to be like, okay. And my stomach was hurting so bad, but I was thinking maybe it was because of going to the restroom, you know what I'm saying? So like, I went and I, babe came and he's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I just, I think it's just because my stomach is upset, blah, blah, blah. He's like, all right, well, just let me know. Keep me posted. I'm like, okay. So he's like, I'm about to lay back down. I'm like, all right. So I'm walking around the living room and then I come back down the hallway and I'm sitting here on the bed and I'm kind of just like bent over. Like it just hurt, like my stomach, like contractions. But then it was like, I was just hurting too. So I'm like, I don't know. He's like, let's just go to the hospital. Do you want to just go? And I'm like, no, because what if I'm just a few like centimeters dilated and they're like, girl, go home. Like I've experienced that before. So I'm like, no, I, re I really want to wait it out. So he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to try to lay back down, you know. So as I'm trying to get in the bed, I couldn't really even get in the bed because I was having a contraction. So I'm like, you know, let's just go. And if they send me home, they send me home. It's whatever. Get up. And at that point, I'm calling my mom because we're heading to the hospital and my contractions were probably about three to five minutes apart. But again, my water has never broken. I've never, I've always been induced. Like I've never really went into labor, I guess, like naturally in a sense, cause I was trying to self-induce. So I guess you can say naturally, but whatever. So I've never really went into labor that way. So I'm like, all right, let's go. And even walking from my bedroom to the garage, I had another contraction and I'm like, okay, whatever. So we're in the car, we go. My mom lives farther away from the hospital than I do. And she beat us there cause she was like flying to the hospital. My boyfriend drives a little bit on the slow side. So we were, um, I was trying so hard to be very, very like, nice in a sense like i just was trying to be nice i didn't want to be that girl that's in labor that's just like ah like i didn't want to do that so i was definitely trying to be nice and um i'm like hey babe you know i know you're trying to be safe and everything but if you could just drive a little bit faster we need to get there because at that point my contractions were coming so fast like it just hurt and um i was like clenching on to the the little bar in the car and i was like clenching so hard and it was just i was in a lot of pain y'all so his his like idea of fast like the speed limit is 45 he was going like 50. so maybe a little bit faster i'll give him that but i was definitely in some pain um so we get to the hospital it's about a 20 minute drive maybe like 15 minute drive um, we get to the hospital and I'm like, let's just go in the ER. Cause again, my mind, I'm like, Hey, I probably will not be admitted. They're probably just going to be like, girl, you're, you're, you OD. I'm like, you're overreacting. No. So we go through the ER. My mom's like, get a wheelchair. Cause I had a contraction on the way to the door. So I'm like, okay, get a wheelchair. Babe's like, Oh, we got to get the stuff out the back. I'm like, leave the stuff. Let's go. So we go, we get in, the lady's like trying to ask me a thousand questions. I'm like, ma'am, I'm having contractions. I just need to get to where I need to go. So she keeps asking me, keeps asking me, I'm having contraction. And then I just kind of like ignored her and just 
put my head down with my contractions just like oh my god because at that point they're getting super strong like i just it was very painful so then um she's like you could kind of tell she was like oh crap like let me really call like so they send down the little um transportation person that kind of like basically wheels you up to the labor and delivery y'all when i tell you baby girl didn't know it must have been her first day baby girl didn't know where she was going and that made me even more angry and then she kept telling me to relax and that made me even more angry and then the um cafeteria lady that was like delivering food had to tell her where to go that made me even more angry because sis i'm about to have this baby and you need to come on i need you to come on so we get finally to labor and delivery my mom's like rubbing my back and i'm like don't touch me and she was like girl and i'm like i was so irritated so we get to the front desk and the lady's like um I need all your information, like da 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 da. Who's your doctor? Who's this? Who's that? Who's this? When's your due date? When's the da? And I'm like, I have to go to the bathroom. Pause. For those of you that don't know, typically whenever you are in labor and you are about to have your baby, it literally feels like you are about to take the biggest shit of your life. Okay, just straight up. So I'm talking to the nurse or the lady at the check-in and I'm like I have to go to the bathroom she kind of just is like yeah let's just get you checked in da 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 and I'm like no I have to poop because I'm trying to be polite and she's not understanding me I'm like I have to poop and she's like okay well let me just get a little bit of information so I'm sitting there I have another contraction and then she's asking me questions and then my mom's answering them and I'm like I have to sh <laughs> y'all i'm serious and like telling this story is so embarrassing but i literally like i was so irritating when you're in that moment your contractions they don't play so like i told her like i have to and so the lady's like okay okay so then like two nurses came from behind one of them was wheeling me to the room they literally took me like this is where i want y'all to pay attention they literally took me the front desk probably like two doors down not far at all like 20 seconds to get there so i go in the room and i'm having another contraction and i'm like i have to i have to go to the bathroom and my the late the nurse is like no baby we need to check you we don't want you we don't want that to be um your baby like we need to make sure that we need to see how far along you are dilated and i'm like no i i literally have to like i have to go and my mom's like well she was having diarrhea like blah 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 and mind you i had on gray sweatpants so if i myself like come on like i'm trying to just let me go so the lady's like oh, okay well let's go but i'll have to sit in the restroom with you so i'm like okay i don't care so i go in there and i sit on the toilet and i'm like nothing's coming out nothing at all so i'm like in my mind i'm like because again i've birthed babies so i know what that feels like and i'm like I'm like, one, epidural, two, oh my God, three, wait a minute. So the nurse is like, okay, let's get you back. Let's get you checked. From the bathroom to the bed, I had another contraction and I, the nurse is like, come on, come on. And I'm like, I have a contraction. So we get into, I didn't even get out of my street clothes. I literally have my street clothes on. She, they took my pants off, my panties off and she checked me and she's just like oh wow mind you as i'm having contractions at that point i'm literally like yelling because they hurt so when i'm bent over on the bed she when she was like hey we need you to get in the bed i'm like i'm having a contraction and so she's like okay and it hurt so bad i was like Fuck. like i yelled so <laughs> so loud y'all so where I ended up having like eight or nine nurses in my room. Um, and again, it's probably like midnight at this point. So a little bit before midnight. So I got in there and when the lady checked me, she's like, oh, wow. And my mom's like, oh, wow, what? And she's like, she's ready. So my mind just instantly went into panic mode. Like, what do you mean I'm ready? Y'all, I had my camera. I had everything packed to film a labor and delivery video and this is all just happening so quick right and the the camera's the last thing on my mind so um 
I was like, so can I get an epidural? And the nurse, the other nurse turned around at me and looked at me and she was like, mm-mm. So I'm like, no! I instantly just started crying. Now, I know it was probably just a mind thing. I've had epidurals every pregnancy. I feel like I just had it in my mind to go ahead and get an epidural. I've experienced horrible contractions before I've with labor I've experienced not so bad contractions I've experienced you know like I just in my mind I've always had an epidural so that is just something that I just was like ready to get I wasn't mentally prepared to not be able to have that option so when she told me no I instantly just started crying and I was like I cannot do this I can't do it I can't do it like I can't and my mom like grabbed my face and she was like yes you can <laughs> So a whole time, Bay was like freaking out because everything is just literally happening so fast. The nurse grabbed my hand and she's like, you can do this, baby. You got it. You got it. Like, I know you can do it. Like, you know, all of that stuff. And literally my next contraction, I don't know what happened. I don't know what got into me. I don't know what. I don't know. I think it was just I was scared. And I honestly was really scared to be like 100% honest. I was so nervous. I was so scared. When my next contraction came, I don't know what made me just push. Obviously, I, I mean, I guess the baby was just there when she said I was ready and said, oh, wow. I literally just pushed. I like pushed my hips up off the bed and I just started pushing. And all of a sudden my water broke. And that sounds gross, but like water just like... <laughs> went everywhere the doctor turned around and she was like i don't even have any gloves on the nurse was like oh my god like everybody was freaking out there was so many people in there and all of a sudden like his head was just coming out the nurse was like it was literally like a movie like it was so crazy then and i was just i had my eyes closed and i was just pushing and the nurse was like um look look he's his head is coming out and I was like I don't want to see because I'm thinking like I don't have an epidural out of sight out of sight out of mind I won't feel the pain like just hurry and of course it was painful and I just I mean I'm happy that I experienced at least one of my babies without an epidural but it was definitely like so scary such a such a fast like experience when the nurse told me that literally all of that from her getting me to the room to the baby coming out happened in four minutes. I know that me explaining that was so long, but she said everything happened in four minutes. I literally could have had him in the car. Like I could have, if I just would have been like, no, it's okay. Let's stay home. It's okay. I'm probably just at a four. Like, you know, I was literally in denial. It was so crazy to me because everything happened so fast so fast and to think I was to think I was literally about to stay home I would have had this baby at home like it just would have been crazy all of that to say he was born on the 16th and healthy everything was perfect everything's fine we did get to go home on that Sunday it was just definitely an experience I will never forget um, there were nurses coming in telling me that they had heard about my labor story and they were like, it was like the talk of the night and they were, everybody was super sweet. One of the ladies was like, I will never forget this. You literally just made a mark on my heart. Like they were so sweet and everybody was so helpful in everything. It was literally like so crazy though, you guys, like the way that it happened, I cannot, I wish I wish, I wish I could have recorded it. I wish I would have had. I was so upset. I had my camera and everything. Two batteries charged. The one in my ba camera charged. Like, I was so prepared. I was so ready. But me trying to self-induce is what I get. So now all you guys get is this little story time. <laughs> I am so thankful, so blessed, so happy that everything was good and squared away. And, um... It was definitely an experience for sure. We named him Liam Ahmad and Ahmad is my boyfriend's middle name. So that's where he gets that from, his daddy. And he is so handsome. 
and I'm truly thankful and blessed to have added him to our family and um a lot of you have been reaching out asking and even congratulating and I'm thankful for that as well I've told all of you thank you and you know all of that jazz so went back at my four week mark postpartum and I got my tubes tied so I am definitely snipped I will not be having any more um yeah I'm excited I I'm trying to adjust and get back on track with my YouTube and with filming and with posting and all of that. So thank you all for being patient with me. I greatly appreciate it. And I greatly appreciate you guys reaching out and your support and all of that. Um, again, if you are new, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Even if you don't, leave me a comment below and let me know that you came just to my channel to see. Um, let me know what you think. You guys also that have been here, thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and leave me some love below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.